What is up guys, Rich here, and this is a little bit different of a video. This is my iBuyPower Pro Gaming built PC. Um, this is what the 6600, I believe, because, um, let's see. The 6600 uh, XT, the Radeon. Uh, so basically, for me, personally, that gaming card, that graphics card, is kind of more consistent at 1080p. Like, it's very high level 1080p gameplay. Could have went with the 3060 Ti, but... You know, at the end of the day, like, obviously, I can always upgrade. I can always put it into myself with these pre-built gaming PCs. These aren't OEM. So, with OEM, it's hard to swap parts and things like that. Computer, mainly because you can kind of already piece it together yourself. It's already pre-built for, for you. Like, it's kind of pre-built for you with custom parts. And that's why I ordered it. I got a good deal on it. Came with gaming mouse, keyboard, all this and that. Um, We're going to be unboxing it. I'm going to at least try my best to film that i also forgot to mention I, that's what i was like trying to go through in regards to why i made this decision one the the 3060 ti was rated at i think 1450 altogether so 450 dollars more um i think i ended up paying around 1100 for this because i got a warranty like a four-year warranty or whatever so that was an extra hundred but um literally it's the it's the temp cooling like at 1080p this is already my videos are mostly 1080p i don't run a lot of 4k anyway so if i were to record or process or you know anything like that 1080p it's a 1080p monster and it keeps the cooling temp at 65 70 degrees which helps for cooling so you don't have to upgrade possibly fan modules anything like that with the 3060 ti when you're running those upper echelon of games 1080p even it does tend to generate a good amount of heat. And so what happens is when you're generating a good amount of heat and you have a closed, like you have a little crack here, obviously this is the opening, we'll see. But um, in general, some of these fans, like it, you know, the fan back here collects dust, all this and that. And so sometimes it tends to overheat. And when the 3060 Ti overheats, it kind of back in, you know, slows down the processing for the gameplay, not by much, but it slows the processing down for the gameplay to, to help with cooling. And I kind of just felt like spend an extra $450 to worry about that. I, I don't know. 1080p monster, good at cooling, good at like high, good, very good temperatures in between 65 to 75 degrees. You know, I, I'm perfectly fine with it. This is literally pain, man. I just, uh, Jesus Christ, you know, I'm just, uh, mm. okay. Now this is what we're talking about. This is what we're here for. Here's that gaming case, you know what I'm saying? That is so dope, man. Apparently, I'm going to have to lift the box up and kind of like flip it onto this, like as I let it fall. <laughs> I got it on his butt. Alrighty, look at this. Quick start, guys. This is pr this is really cool, y'all. I don't think I understand. And the finished product is gonna look even cooler. Just all of my YouTube earned money throughout YouTube, basically on this um it says here we're gonna take out there's a, a pack inside that you remove right per, yep and then you close it while removing the film I, I believe there's protective film ignore my dirty monitor but literally had to remove my playstation had to remove everything like my xbox is on this side usually just to fit this this is gonna be crazy oh. so what i'm probably gonna end up doing is probably moving this like clearing some space right here probably gonna move that right there but outside of that i mean gee oh it looks good so literally the protective packing because this is this is literally not important you're gonna remove this obviously you don't want to run this with that 6600 i'm sorry um and here and there and then three fans in the front so five fans here that's a cpu cooler though so four technically everything officially looks good Everything on the side. I haven't taken off the sticker yet because I'm gonna do it off last before I light it up. Okay, so here is the mouse and the keyboard. So give me one second to unbox. The mouse, I haven't plugged it in yet, but the keyboard looking pretty solid as well. All black and sleek. After the long wait, I think it is time. I think we are done and ready to set it up. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, look at everything. Oh my goodness. Oh man, dude. Oh my God. Just figuring this out. That is so dope. 
Okay, so now that we have it kind of officially set up, I was fixing the, the display port. Well, from in my case, it was the it's HDMI. I'm using HDMI right now because I'm connecting to this. I do have a display port for this as well, but it just makes sense to do that. Okay, as you hear, I'm breathing heavy. I'm going to, um, this is going to wrap up this video. I don't think you really need to see me set up anything else right now. The setup is amazing. The lights, amazing. Everything is just amazing. Um, like I said, I'm blessed. I'm so thankful. I thank all you guys for all the support um, over all the years. This is all years of work put together here, and this is just a dream. So I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And, uh, man, yeah, I'll see you guys at I keep saying the next one, like the next one isn't tomorrow. Just wanted to give an update. Here is the complete setup as of right now. The complete setup as of right now, I just want to give an update. I am able to kind of push this. I have to organize a little bit. Push this over here, kind of make it, you know, sit it on its own island. Here's the box on that side. Push it on its own island here. Xbox Series X, obviously controller. Running through the PC with the setup here. Got the, I bet I almost forgot about the Apple TV running, you know, TV show. And then we got the PS5 here as well with the headset, all this and that. Dude, this is a dream. This is a long time dream come true. And I just cannot be more happier with how this, oh man, I, dude, I'm about to cry.